Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import any of the Google Map 3D terrains to make it become the terrain in your iClone 8.2 3D animation software. Just for example, this is the Mountain Everest, the Himalayas here. And the whole thing, this is the Google Map 3D. The Mountain Everest is here. And how are we going to import the 3D terrain from Google Map 3D into the iClone 8 3D animation software like this to make it become, become a terrain in your iClone 8. And also it, it also allow your avatar to walk on the terrain with the proper collisions. How to do this? So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First in the iClone 8, I'm going to start just a new project. I don't want this. Then, I'm going to close this window as well. Everything. I'll start from beginning. What you are going to do is just scroll down, go to my video descriptions to get the Google Map 3D Grabber. All right. Once you download it, it is a zip folder. You have to extract it into your computer, the Google Map 3D Gravel. And open it. You should be able to see all of this. And also, you have to make sure you already installed the Google Chrome browser. The Google Chrome browser, you have to install. Then, after you install the Google Chrome browser, you have to install the render dot 1.13 as well. Already provided in the Google Map 3D Grabber is already here. And also here, this is a Blender 3.0 that I already pre-installed the Google Map Importer as a plugin inside here. You no need to use your own Blender, just use my everything already pre-installed. Right. So this is very important, Google Map 3D Grabber. And of course, you have the iClone 8. This is iClone 8.2 3D animation software. Right. The first step, I assume that you already installed the Google Chrome. But before that, you also need to already install the render doc and start the render doc first. Before you start render doc, make sure you already close all the Google Chrome browser and any other browser. Close all the browser. Close all the internet browser. Then start the render doc 1.13. Right. Render doc. And next step, click file, inject into process. Here, type Chrome, C-H-R-O-M-E. Type a Chrome here to standby. And this is a Microsoft Windows 10 OS. Then you should be able to see the shortcut that provided by me if you already installed the Google Chrome. Double click the Google Chrome render doc shortcut like this, then open. Then you should be able to see this is totally blank. At the same time, it have a conversation like this. Do not touch this first. Next, here in your render dot 1.13, click refresh. You should be able to see a Google Chrome GPU. Click on that, click inject. Then next step, back to the Google Chrome GPU conversation, click OK. Then start as normal. Then you should be able to see here are some texts here and also with black background. Then we can go to the Google, the Google map. Then of course you can access the Google map from the link that provided in my video description. Get the Google map 3D, control C to copy, then paste that here, control V, enter. Now this is the Google the Google Map. Of course, you have to make sure first you click the layer. Sorry. You move your mouse cursor to layer, click more, and make sure you ha make sure you activate the globe view. This is very important. It must be in globe view. Then click. Then close this. Tick to make sure it is at a satellite view. Then, if, if you want to import any of the terrain, you can just go and search it. 
just for example the Badland the Badland National Park here are some of the terrain here the Badland then you click the 3D after that you hold the shift use your mouse cursor you can just rotate it so all of these are 3D terrain for example the Badland National Park where is it we can find some awesome terrain from here now it is totally flat no, this is not a good place okay what about here you can see some of the terrain this is a terrain as well yes this is a 3d terrain we are going to search the bad land Just for example, if you want to have this part to capture this part, then what you are going to do is just switch back to 3D, then back to your render dock here. Capture after delay, you change it to become 5 seconds. Then click capture after delay. Then you have to keep on move your terrain like this until you can see one capture safe. It is at here. This is the ones. Next, just minimize it. Right click and save it as demo. I'm going to save it on, on my desktop. I will create a new folder. This is USA01, for example. On my desktop, USA01, USA01. USA save as an RDC file. Then, Open the Google Map 3D Grabber. You can see the Blender 3.0 given by me. Double click to open the Blender. Then, the first step, click the Edit Preferences. Here, search a plugin, name it as the Map. You should be able to see a Maps Model Importer. Make sure you take it to activate it, then close. Then delete this one, two, three, or delete it. Click file, import. You should be able to see a Google Map, R, the Google Map capture RDC. The RDC file is on my desktop, USA01. Double click to let it load the RDC file as the 3D model in Blender. Just wait for a while. Now you can see it already loaded here. Turn on the texture. Then You should be able to see that this is really a 3D texture that already loaded here. Right. The first thing what you're going to do is just select everything like this. It is multiple mesh. We are going to combine it to become one single mesh. Press Ctrl J. Then now it combined become just a single mesh. Next, click the mesh. We are going to export it as FBX file. This is USA01. We export it here. File, export FBX. And here you have to make sure that all of the texture, the material texture embedded inside the FBX file. Choose the location first. USA01. The name USA01. I follow everything. To make sure that the material texture embedded inside the FBX file, the path mode you have to turn to make sure it is copy, then highlight this. Then it will embed all the texture inside. Click export FBX. Now the FBX file is here. Even if you open, it is going to open by using the 3D viewer right now. To make it become an iClone 8.2 terrain in this tutorial, how to import any terrain from Google Map 3D to iClone 8.2 to make it become a real terrain in iClone 8.2. It is really easy. 
open your iClone 8.2, drag in the FBX file, and later we have to go through a few settings. Now you can see the terrain is already here. Now it is just a prop. Scroll down, make sure that the pivot is at bottom. Then scroll up, click reset scale. Yes. And then click zero out. Like this. Now it is at the center. Then maybe you want to make it bigger like this. It's okay. Right. Now before you make it become be before you make it a terrain, you can just make it a prop. Just go to here, custom. Wait, the prop is here. Custom. Prop. Then we click save and save as a prop. Name this as USA01. This is a prop. Now, if you want to convert it to, to become a terrain, then you can just right click it. Make sure you select it and right click it, convert to terrain. Yeah, everything will be okay. Just wait for a while. Now it is converting. And now you can see it already become a terrain in your iClone 8. To test the terrain, you can just choose a choose a avatar, choose an avatar. Just for example, you choose an actor, actor core crowd. Then I drag a drag this lady. Wait. Delete it. I'm going to drag her to the terrain. Where is her? Right it's here and up. Then at this moment we can just test the motion director, a female, to apply to test whether can she walk on the terrain and how it work, how it walk. Just have a try, just have a test. Click OK. OK. Now she, you can see she can walk on the terrain with proper collisions. Everything, everything is OK. This avatar really walk on the the Google Map terrain. Can lift up. Yes, everything success. Right, I stop it. And you also can save this terrain. Just go to the scene. Where's the terrain? USA zero one. This is the terrain. You can save it. Go to the custom con content custom. Save it as a terrain. Should be here. Terrain. Then click save. Terrain. USA 01 save. Now it will become a terrain next time. You can apply it as a terrain. Right. Alright, that's all for today about my tutorial on how to import any of the Google Map 3D terrains into iClone 8.2 to make it become an iClone terrain as well to let your avatar to walk on the terrain and to perform any of the 3D animation. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy 3D modeling, 3D animation and game developing. See you.